So to fix the error, the first step is to install Visual C++ file. So copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. It will take you to Microsoft website. On this website, scroll down here. You can see Visual Studio files. So you have to download this x86 and you have to download this x64. You have to run both the exe file. Click on it. Now if you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install button, if you see repair, click on repair. If you see install, click on install. Click on yes to allow. Download this x64 file as well. And then run this exe file. Again, if you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install button, hit install. Click on, click on yes to allow. And let the installation complete. Make sure both are installed. Once installed, restart your computer. Restart is a must after this. And after the system restart, you can check. Still not working. The next step is to install media feature pack. So if you're using N version of Windows, not the home version, the N version of Windows. So you can go to this link and you can go through this how to install media feature pack. And you can even go through this link for Windows 10 users, I think. You can install if this is for N version of Windows. Now you can also use this optional features so you can open Windows settings, go to system and then scroll down and then find optional features over here. Click on optional features and then click on view feature. Click on yes to allow. Now type in media feature pack over here. Now I don't have media feature pack. Uh, I have Windows 11 home edition. So if you have any edition, you might see media feature pack over here when you type in. And then you have to install media feature pack and then restart your computer and then check. You can also use turn Windows feature on or off. So type in turn Windows feature on or off and then click on it. And make sure media feature over here. If this is unchecked, then you have to put a check over here. Click on OK and then uh, update it, install it, restart your computer and then check. Now the next step is to go to this location and then delete this D3 compiler 43.dll if you want to create a backup create a backup first so open this c drive file explorer and open file explorer c drive and then open windows and it's system 32 find system 32 folder open system 32 and find this d3d compiler so Yeah, so it's D3 D compiler 43.dll. So this is the file. Copy this file and you can create a backup. So once you have a backup, now you can delete. If you face any problem, you can always put this file back to the location. Now now make a right click and delete it. Now 43 D D3 D compiler 43.dll is not here. Now you can go to this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. Download this file and then run this file. Click on yes to allow. Accept. Click on next. Uncheck install Bing bar. Click on next and let the installation complete. next again next now once the installation is complete click on finish now if you go back to the system 32 folder now just refresh it it will be back So here you can see it's back. So installing this file actually reinstall that this particular file. Now you can launch the game again and then you can check. If that does not work, restart your computer once. And after the system restart, you can check. Now the next step is to update Windows to the latest version. So open Windows settings and then go to Windows update. This is important. So click on check for update. Once all the updates are installed over here, then restart your computer. Once installed, restart your computer and then check. Next step is to 
run EA app Steam or Epic Games Launcher as an administrator. So if you have the game on EA app, you can close EA app first, exit, and then type in EA in Windows search box. Make a right click on EA app and then click on run as administrator. Similarly, close Steam if you have the game on Steam and then you can launch Steam as an administrator and then you can check. If you have the game on Epic Games Launcher, close Epic Games Launcher and then you have to launch Epic Games Launcher as an administrator and then check. Next step is to verify or repair the game files. If you have the game on Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties, then go to local. Uh, I don't have the game on Steam, so I, I'll show you a different game. So you can just make a right click, go to properties, go to install files tab, and then click on verify integrative game files. Once the verification is done, you can check. If you have the game on eApp, click on manage, then click on repair. After the repair, launch the game. Next step is to install any free games like Epic Legend. Uh, Epic Legend. So if you if you have it like if you have the game on EA, you can install any free game uh, from EA. So just search the game. This is just an example. You can install any free game, uh, download it, install it, and then run the game for maybe a few seconds or maybe a minute. Then you can uh, launch FC26 and then you can check. Still not working. The next step is to create new admin account. So for this, you can open Windows settings and then go to other users. Uh, go to accounts and then go to other user and then click on add account and then click on I don't have this person's sign in information click on it Now click on add a user without a Microsoft account over here and then you can create a username whatever you want and this is just an example click on next if you don't want a password you can leave it blank if you want a password enter the password once it is created click on the new account then click on change account type and then select administrator over here then click on ok now you can log out and then lock and then you can log into this new account which you have created and then install the game once again and then check. Next step is to uninstall and reinstall the game. So simply uninstall and reinstall the game and then check. And you can, if that does not work, you can use fix problems using Windows Update option. So you can go to Windows Update and then go to Advanced option and then Recovery option over here. And then you will see fix problems using Windows Update. This will reinstall uh, like current work this will reinstall current version of windows your apps files and settings will be preserved so click on reinstall now and once that is done you can launch the game and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to fix this error so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel